We're gonna, I'm going to do the prayer of invocation, asking the Holy Spirit to come upon this church. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Oh, great mighty God, we give you honor and praise on this day, Father God. Amen. We ask you, Lord, for your anointing and your blessing to be upon this service, this church, Father God, starting with me, Father God. Yeah. Hide me behind the cross. Use me as a weapon for you, Father God. Yeah. Look upon our church staff, Father God. Fill them with the Holy Spirit, Father God. Look upon the daughters of the King today, Lord. Let them be able to sing songs of Zion to you, Father God. Anoint them, Father God. Look upon our deacon board, our trustee board, our ministers, Father God. Oh, Father God, we ask you to look upon everyone that's involved in this service, Father God. Our media ministry, our sound ministry, Father God. Use them in a mighty way, Father God. Oh, we just give you honor and praise, Father God. And again, Lord, I curse COVID-19 in a mighty way, Father God. I ask you, Lord, to curse it in the name of Christ Jesus, Father God. So many people have, have died, Father God. And we ask for your grace and your mercy to be upon this earth, Father God. Especially in New York City, Father God. For those that have um, lost loved ones, Father God. The grieving families, Father God. We ask you, Lord, to comfort them, Father God. Oh, Father God, we ask you to, to again to look upon our pastor, the Reverend Dr. Mark V.C. Taylor, Father God. As he comes forth today, Father God, continue to give him sevenfold power to preach the word with fire, Father God. And we ask for hope. Hope for all our people, Father God, in this church, Father God. Hope for all, all God's people, Father God. Yeah. I ask for prosperity and health and abundance for everyone, Father God. Yeah. And I ask again, Lord, to look upon this church in a mighty way, Father God. Yeah. Your spirit right now is, is supreme, Father God. Yeah. And we ask this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now we have our Bible reading from our very own Deacon Jimmy Orange. Please stand for reading the Lord. All power, all glory, and all honor belongs to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Church, today I'll be doing the Bible reading, which is coming from Deuteronomy 4, 9 through 10. And I would just like to say it is good to be in the house of the Lord today. For us who are here and for you that's out there watching, we just want you to know that we're still with you. We'll continue to bring the scriptures as our pastor brings forth the word. Amen? Amen. And it reads as this. Be on your guard. Make certain that you do not forget, as long as you live, what you have seen with your own eyes. Tell your children and your grandchildren about the day you stood in the presence of the Lord, your God, at Mount Sinai. When he said to me, assemble the people. I want them to hear what I have to say so that they will learn to obey me as long as they live and so that they will teach their children to do the same. And this is the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're going to have a song by uh, Daughters of the King. Amen.
you, <coughs> you never forget what the Lord has done for you. That's some living history. That's some living history. Hallelujah. When you tell people what the Lord has done for you, that's some living history. Has He blessed anybody in here? Has He ever healed anybody in here? Come on, y'all talk to me. right here, Mother Mildred Phillips went into the hospital Thursday and she passed away Friday night. Uh, like Enoch, the Lord, she walked with God and God took her. Amen. Didn't want her to suffer or to linger. And uh, the family's been in shock. We all are in shock. We don't have any announced, any uh, news as of yet as to the services. We will let you know what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you now. We're just going to have a family-only service. I do not want all you all coming in here everywhere. Every time I go to a, a wake or something, there's too many people. They won't act right. So only the family is going to be allowed. Now, if we can't straighten this out, we're going to have to stop having funerals because it's too dangerous for the funeral staff. But so we're going to celebrate with the family and, and a designated person that we're going to celebrate her life celebrate her life and what she meant to all of us. Amen. She was a great soldier. Of the Lord. She would have loved that song like that. She would have got in the eye mm -hmm. and did a dance. Amen. Also, we want to thank everybody that helped us say goodbye to Lloyd Fitzhugh. And we want to thank everyone who came out to support Marilyn Tucker and her family all our friends in the past, Gary Hendrickson. I have a special request. Um, Janaea Flores. I don't know where Janaea is. I think she's in Atlanta, Florida. Uh, George, where? She's in Georgia. Her, she had a daughter named Danielle. And Danielle had a daughter named Journey, three months old, passed away. Three months old. Danielle's daughter, Journey, passed away. And I talked to Janae, and she wanted to thank Brother Harvey for letting me know. He asked me to call and pray. When I was talking to Janae, she asked me to thank you all for all of the calls and all the statements on Facebook and all the support you've given her, even though she's far away. What we want to do right now is we want to pray for Danielle. And we want to pray for Janaea. We want to pray for the baby's father, wherever he is. And everybody involved, body here would be God. We do just want to say thank you. Thank you Never forget what you've done for us. But Lord, we need you to touch Danielle right now. Yes, Lord. We need you in her grief and her sorrow to fill her with your spirit. Lord, the spirit prays with moans and sighs too deep for words. This is a situation that's past words. So touch Danielle, heal her heart, heal her mind, lift her up, touch Janaea, touch all the family, Lord. The family that's here, the family that's down there. Oh God, give them the comfort you spoke about in your word. That even though we despair of life itself, we learn how to rely on God who raises the dead. Oh God, you comfort us in any situation so that we can comfort somebody else. So God, comfort this mother, this grandmother, comfort siblings, comfort friends. Because everything is in your hands. Into your hands we commit Daniel's spirit that you would heal her, that you would give her Strength to go on in this life. God, we thank you and we praise you. In the name above every name, in my name, Master's name, of the Lord Jesus, we pray. By your blessing, Lord, bless the family of Mother Mildred Phillips, far and near. Bless her daughters, 
Bless her grandchildren. Bless all those who loved her. God, we loved her, but you loved her best. And help us, as we grieve and mourn, to get a blessing from trusting you at this time. In the mighty master's name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Everybody said Amen. 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 I want to ask you to keep praying. Amen. That God will work. We um, have some more people who called in. And before we do that, though, we're gonna, we have some people to honor. So we're going to ask Deacon Lyons to come for Black History Month. Come, Deacon Aldridge. We're lifting up people who have given great service to the church. Test it. We're lifting up people given great service to the church. Give another mic. What's going on? He said, No, 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 no. Mm -mm. It's not, no, it's not functioning. The gray. The, the gray. Okay, I got you. Amen. We have technical difficulties. The okay. devil had to get mad, sir. Come on. Yeah, cut that one off for me, D. This one says the Martin Luther King Jr. Service Award. Everybody can be great because everybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and verb agree to serve. You only need a heart of grace, a soul generated by love, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. This award for your unwavering service to the Church of the Open Doors Ministry and the people we serve presented this Sunday uh, in 2021 from Dr. Macbeth, Chairperson of the Board of Christian Education, and Reverend Dr. Mark B.C. Taylor, pastors presented to Cheryl Goodman. Let's give God a hand. Yes. Cheryl, we also have a little monetary token. Amen. <laughs> and we have some flowers to say thank you. Your diligence in serving and being faithful to God. Amen. Let's give our hands. This is Cheryl Goodman. The King Jr. Service Award for your unwavering service to the church over the Open Doors Ministry, the people we serve, presented this day to Sister Marilyn Tucker. Archaeology, 
anthropology all occur that Africa is where civilization began. The description of the geography of the areas found in Genesis are descriptive of the geography of Africa. The continent is where the first men and women were created. The myth and lies that the continent was and is covered by deep jungles and primitive people as opposed to the great pageantry of human ingenuity, creativity, and thought was and still is perpetrated in our societies today. But scholars from every country and continent have recognized that inventions and innovations were present in Africa alongside and before they were found in Europe. Inventions such as clay cookware, woven basketry, and techniques such as the smelting of iron, storage of grain, building of pyramids and temples, underground burial sites, as well as the development of reading, writing, and arithmetic were commonplace. Archaeology, archaeological evidence identified in the 1970s showed that the higher civilization of northwestern Tanzania knew how to turn red ore into carbon steel as early as 2,000 years before the Iron Age of Europe. The great library of Timbuktu with manuscripts describing every aspect of life and culture through people from far and wide. To keep it simple, the great civilization of Africa, Mali, Sambia, and Ghana were trading and inventing before the exploration of North America by European explorers such as Columbus. Yeah. Archaeologists and engineers are still trying to figure out how the pyramids of Africa were built without tools available to man today. How did the African men move huge bricks that were geometrically designed to fit together to come to a peak. And these structures house many rooms inside the building. Scientists are still in awe of the medical procedures used in these early centuries in burials and the mummification of the human body. Awe, ah, the whole wonders of the black mind, the abilities and determination of the African people. Yes. Over the next few weeks, we will celebrate the wonders of African culture and its integration and other continents. When the continent was raped and the people were stolen and kidnapped away, the continent suffered the loss of the ingenuity, strength, and ability. But these traits did not die. They were displaced to new lands, new continents, is still deep in the hearts and the spirits of the African people. The skills, abilities, and talents are seen on every continent where Africans settle. Join us as we recognize their origins and celebrate our survival. Amen. Yes, sir. Now, let's take a beautiful journey back to the shores of Africa then to the shores of the Caribbean, and then to that greatest of all black institutions, the black church. All right now.
let him meet the wrong person or a number of things. Lay the foundation. Hallelujah. We talked about the church being the foundation. The church is a foundation that creates other foundations. Lay that foundation down the line of your family. Mm -hmm. So many people come to me when there's trouble and somebody's really messed up. No, don't let people get messed up. Start out the right way. They might not get messed up. Let's bow our head and take one minute to meditate on these deep truths from the scripture. Bless you.